Good morning, Bumblebeezies. Happy Saturday. Happy Vlogmas Day 11, I think. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> Anyways, it is early, you guys. It is 7.30. I'm at Target. I came by myself because I needed to get the kids their stocking stuffers, and I also wanted to get a couple more things for them. And I also need an air filter for the house. Well, I have a list, so let's go, you guys. Hopefully, I can stick to my list. I also want to pick up some Christmas cards, so let's go look for some Christmas cards, you guys. Oh, also I need to go to the Dollar Tree because I need to get the batteries for the train, but the batteries are too expensive here, so we're going to go to the Dollar Tree after this. You guys, look at these are so pretty. Velvet quilt. It's really pretty. I was like, $15? No way. <laughs> $59. This one's pretty too. These are the bed sheets that I get, the Threshold brand. Because you can see they're super deep. And they have elastic all the way around. So get your sheets at Target. This is so cute. I wish I would have done a Christmas, um, Christmas bed. Christmas bedding. It's cute. I'm trying to find those mini brand toys that Vanessa likes. It's like a, it's kind of like it comes in a thing like this. You don't know what you're going to get, but the things inside are all miniature versions like this, but this is just a different brand. I wonder if she would like this. Just something to put in her stocking, you know. They usually keep those mini brands at the front of the store, but I didn't see any. And sometimes they have them here too. I need to get some gift boxes, just the plain ones like these. Let's see if there's um, like a variety pack or something. Oh, there's tons over here. They have these two that already have like the decoration so you don't have to wrap it, but the kids, you know, they like to unwrap. So I'm going to get the plain ones. So I want to get some new stockings for everyone. They're out of a lot of the letters. They have A, there's no V, and there's no M. So I just picked some other diff some different ones, so I'll show you guys later. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Vanessa Time in the morning. Today I'm we're going I'm going to be trying um, this Elf cereal. It's sweetened corn puffs with holiday tree marshmallows. Um, here's what it looks like. Also, here's what it looks like. See the trees. So I'm going to be trying this. Also, it says it's maple syrup flavored because, you know, he likes maple syrup. So we're going to try this for the very first time. It smells really good. It smells like the French toast cereal that I used to eat. So I'm going to try it. Mmm. That tastes like the French toast cereal that I used to eat. It's good, Kuya. Want a bite? And look at the cute box. That was the taste test of the elf cereal. Mm -hmm. I am back home from Target. Um, after Target, I actually went to Safeway. Um, but yeah, I'm back home now. These are the stockings that I went with. I, w I wanted to get all the, the letter ones, but they didn't have like all of our letters and I didn't really want to order it. So I just picked these, super cute. Um, so yeah, those are the stockings I went with. I also bought these Oreos, white fudge covered Oreos. 
Um, I don't think I've ever tried these before, but Jimmy loves these. He's like, these are his favorite cookies. He gets them every Christmas. Um, and he always talks about them. So when I saw them at Target, I was like, oh, I have to get that. Um, so the kids can try it out. Well, I'm, I'll try one too. Also, this is what I came home to. When I came home, I was walking in and I, this, this is what I saw. And I was like, what the heck? At first I thought it was garbage. I was like, who the hell just like dropped garbage on the floor? And then I looked closely and it's actually these Jello cups that we bought from 99 Ranch Market. Um, and then I looked up, look at that. The elves, <laughs> the elves are, and, for, and where did they get this pumpkin? And they have the lid for the Jello. So the elves are in there eating the Jello. I think they also ate candy. Those are Vanessa's snacks. <laughs> Look. Look at that. They made a mess. They're so bad. Why did you guys do that? They got hungry, I guess. They got hungry? All right. So, it is... It's 11.52 right now. I just finished getting ready, took a shower, did my hair. I parted it in the middle this time, and I actually really like it. I think I prefer it like this, um, parted in the middle with the side twist. What do you think? Let me know. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna start cooking now. I'm gonna be making kare kare, Filipino. It's a Filipino peanut butter oxtail stew. And then I'm also going to make uh, a charcuterie board, just a small one. And then also, I want to warm this up. I bought this at Costco. It's this pull-apart bread. It looks so good, you guys. There's actually two loaves in here, but I'm only going to use one. It has brie, iman teler, and mozzarella. And all you have to do is put it in the oven. So let me get this started, actually. Preheat to 400. Remove the plastic and bake in a special oven tray for 14 to 16 minutes. Do not microwave, it says. And then Ariel and Neil will be coming over. I don't know what time. Oh my God, I got a cardboard cut. Oh, it's bleeding. I got a cardboard cut. Eh, it's not really bleeding, okay. Um, I don't know what time they're coming, but I think around, she said lunchtime, so maybe soon, maybe in an hour. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. Looks like that. Are you supposed to bake it in the box? It says remove the plastic and bake in special oven tray. I'm assuming you leave it on here, yeah? Okay, let's do it. 14 to 16 minutes. I can't believe I got a cardboard cut. Oh. Keep refrigerated, defrost, do not refreeze. Special instructions, keep refrigerated, stored in its original packaging, defrosted product, do not refreeze. Oh, you can't put it in the freezer. Where's the expiration date here? January 4th. I got my sparkling water. I actually got a Starbucks this morning. At Safeway, I got a peppermint mocha. So I treated myself to that. Four hundred, okay. Should I cook first or should I do the charcuterie? Maybe I'll I'll do the charcuterie first and then so we can, you know, have a snack. Okay, let me get everything from the fridge. I had a good idea, you guys. I'm gonna put this on the charcuterie board. And I have a lot of small boards for a charcuterie, but I'm actually gonna use my big board, this one. This is a board, cutting board from the Pioneer Woman. So we'll put this here, and then I'll put the meats and the cheeses. I got this cheese from Costco. It's just a variety of jack cheese. And then I also have uh, borsin. So good. 
I didn't go to Trader Joe's. I have been avoiding Trader Joe's like the plague. <laughs> um, and honestly, if I do go, I feel like they're going to be out of all the peppermint stuff. But I've just been avoiding it because I already know I will buy a lot of things that I shouldn't be buying. <laughs> so I just didn't go. Um, so we don't have any other cheeses. We don't have like Gouda or Cheddars or anything like that. But I think this is fine. Like it's only the three of us. We don't need like a huge variety. And then I got this this morning at Safeway. Just a charcuterie trio. It comes with Italian dry salami, peppered salami, and calabrese salami. Is that how you pronounce that word? I don't know. So just a bunch of different salamis. Okay. Um, oh, and I have olives. I bought this olive trio at Costco. Comes with green castel castel vetrano olives, pitted Italian olive antipasto, and a pitted bourbonica olive mix. So, oh my god, you guys, I have so much stuff on the counter. Let's take it back, take it back down Quava Lane. Let's try this. Mmm, oh my god. Mmm, wow. It's good. I just tried the pitted Bourbonica olive mix. It's olives. Uh, when does the meat come out? I'm gonna make it. Oh, oh yeah, and then I, f I have crackers too. Okay guys, so let me put this together and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Here's the charcuterie board. We have the pull apart bread, some olives. This is the jalapeno, jack cheese, salami, crackers, more salami, more olives. Oh no, this one's mushroom jack and this one is the jalapeno jack and then the borson cheese right there. And then the kids, they actually got Chick-fil-A for lunch. I didn't get anything. I'm just gonna wait for the curry, the curry curry. Um, what did you get? Spicy Deluxe? AJ yeah. got nuggets. And then we got the peppermint milkshake. So good. It's my favorite. I'm going to start cooking the kare kare. So I have everything ready. We have onion, garlic. Uh, well, I still need to cut the vegetables, but this is going to go later. And then we have string beans or long bean, um, eggplant, bok choy. And then here's the meat, oxtail. It's already cooked and the tripe also already cooked. And then I use peanut butter and I also use um, kare kare mix. I have this one too. I think these are the same. Sometimes I can't find this one, kare kare. It says kare kare, but I think this is the same thing. It says on here, it says for kare kare. So I don't know what the difference is. Here is the kare kare. I didn't film the cooking, but I do have a recipe video. So I'll just leave that video linked if you guys want to see how to make it, but it's really good. Um, oxtail, tripe, peanut butter, and all these veggies. A little bit of salt, just a little bit, because we're going to eat this with bagoong, which is shrimp paste. <laughs> it's really good, you guys. Say hi to the vlog! What's up, yo? About to take... No, I don't want to say that. No, it's okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. Tell them. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, shot. Pre-game shot. Pre-game. With the fan fan. Neil and Ariel. Happy anniversary, y'all. Oh, yeah, it's their anniversary. Here they are. Here's Neil. Happy anniversary. Lucky seven. Yeah, Ariel is there. And the three of us are going to take some shots. We have some Irish whiskey, a.k.a. Jameson, but it's Kirkland brand, so... <laughs> what are you drinking? I'm drinking on... It's Moonshine, and it's uh, apple pie. Apple pie moonshine, wow. Wow. It's in my freezer for, like couple years and you can tell like I don't know yeah, I don't, yeah I don't, here's Ariel oh the light bulb is out oh no I was like you oh. changed it, it was yeah I did I changed the light bulb okay let's take our shots guys <sighs> hold on okay <laughs> hold on let's take our shots which one do you want this one I'll take this one and yeah, suka no no suka no throwing up okay cheers Cheers, Cheers. Cheers. Happy Cheers. holidays. Cheers. 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 Then you chase it with a truly. 
<laughs> Check this out. So Ariel brought, she made this butter mochi cake. Oh my God, it's so good. If you guys never tried mochi, it's chewy. This is similar to kind of like a Filipino, like bibinka. And then she made this ube cheesecake. Oh, it looks so good. What's the difference between these two? Oh, it's just a swirl. Just did a fancy swirl? Yeah. It looks very good. You got lazy. <laughs> so we're playing this game called Sequence. I've never played it before. It's my first time. I like it. It's fun. It's kind of similar to like Bingo and Uno. Mm -hmm. Or Connect Four, I mean. Yeah, Not Bingo Uno. and Connect Four. Yeah, it's like Bingo and Connect Four. It's really fun. Okay, I'll play the piano. Wow, you look gorgeous. Mm -hmm. 